Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Frederick Jacob Titus Chaluba Frederick Jacob Titus Chaluba was born on the 30th of April 1943. He was a Zambian politician who succeeded Kenneth Kaunda and became the second president of Zambia from 1991 to 2002. Frederick Chiluba had his secondary education at Kawambua Secondary School in Kawambua. Even in those early years, he was already showing interest in politics and that earned him an expulsion in his second year. To get by, he became a bus conductor and later began pursuing a career in politics. He first became a city councillor and then an account assistant at Atlas Copco, where he rose through the ranks. He also joined the National Union of Building. With time, Chiluba contested for and won the chairmanship of the Zambia Congress of Trade Unions (ZCTU). In that capacity, in 1981, he and several leaders in the union were arrested by President Kenneth Kaunda for organizing a strike that paralyzed most of the Zambian economy. The union leaders were later freed after a judge ruled their detention as unlawful. In 1990, soon after the ruling, United National Independence Party gave up its monopoly on power. He was involved in the founding of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy MMD, and became its presidential candidate in the 1991 election. He had a lot of things working in his favor, especially the fact that the people were quite fed up with the UNIP's 25-year rule. This earned Chiluba a landslide victory over the incumbent president, Kenneth Kaunda. He got 75% of the vote to Kaunda's 25%. This was the second biggest margin of victory for a contested election in the history of Zambia. Chiluba took office on the 2nd of November 1991. Soon after, on the 29th of December that same year, he declared Zambia a Christian nation. He contested again for a second term in 1996 and won, despite the fact that there was a lawsuit against him which questioned his birthplace and hence his eligibility to contest for the office of the president. In the same vein, Chiluba attempted to deport his predecessor Kaunda on the grounds that he was a Malawian. Though he didn't succeed, he was able to amend the constitution in order to stop citizens with foreign parentage from standing for the presidency, aimed at disqualifying Kaunda whose parents were originally from Malawi. In 1997, there was a coup attempt against Chiluba's government. When the coup failed, he declared a state of emergency and sent to jail without charges persons suspected to be involved in the failed coup. These included several politicians, especially those from the opposition parties. Kenneth Kaunda was also jailed. In late 2001, Chiluba divorced his second wife, Vera, with whom he had nine children and married the MMD women's chairperson, Regina Mwanza. At the end of his tenure in 2002, he stepped down and handed over to his one-time vice, Levi Mwanawasa. Shortly after assuming office, Mwanawasa came after Chiluba in his campaign against corruption. In February 2003, Chiluba, along with his former intelligence chief, Xavier Chungu, and several former ministers and senior officials were charged with 168 counts of theft, which totaled to more than $40 million. Most of the charges made against him were later dropped, but some others remained. Also, his wife was arrested for receiving stolen goods. On the 4th of May 2007, Chiluba was found guilty of stealing about $46 million in a civil case by a UK court. London High Court judge Peter Smith accused Chiluba of openly defrauding his people and showing off his wealth with an expensive wardrobe of stupendous proportions. 
Chiluba, however, continued to plead his innocence and refused to accept the verdict of the judge Peter Smith, saying the judge had been bribed by the Mwanawansa government. On the 7th of June, the amount Chiluba was ordered to repay was increased to $58 million to account for interest and legal costs. Some days later, he was ordered to leave his home in Lusaka within two weeks because it was judged to have been acquired with stolen public funds. Chiluba collapsed on the 24th of May 2007 due to heart trouble and was hospitalized. When he was released from the hospital five days later, doctors judged him to be fit to stand trial on the embezzlement charges he was facing and a court ruled that his trial should proceed. When his lawyers argued that it was not in the interest of his health to continue with the trial, the judge refused. However, he was allowed to travel to South Africa to receive treatment for his heart. He returned on the 11th of August in time to appear for his trial on the 14th. In May 2008, the government announced that it had recovered $60 million in money and assets alleged to have been stolen by Chaluba while in office. In 2008, the sitting president, Mwanawasa, died, having long suffered health problems. A year later, on the 17th of August 2009, Chiluba was acquitted on all charges by George Jones Chinyama. Chiluba, having battled with his heart condition for years, also died on the 18th of June 2011. His spokesman, Emmanuel Mwamba, stated that Chiluba had a normal day on June 17th and even met with some of his lawyers. He later complained of stomach ache and passed away in the early hours of the next day. Chiluba was known to have a taste for fashion which often earned him sharp criticisms from his political opponents. Michael Sata was quoted as saying, We are not going to steal money. We are not going to buy suits. We are not going to buy shoes. In reference to Chiluba's taste for fashion, Chiluba had two children from his first marriage and nine from his second. What have we missed out of this biography? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.